Welcome everyone. Um, we have an incoming transmission from the boss on screen. Hello everybody. My name is Aidan Hines from a company called Sculpture Studios here in the UK. We've been employed by um, another company, which is a nightclub called Cuckoo. We're going to be making this spaceman, about four foot tall, where the people in the nightclub can hold it above the head and in the back of the bucket, there'll be champagne bottles with sparklers and a really lovely extravagant affair. And if you look at this image here, you can see um, a unicorn, which we made it, uh, about a year ago. But these are the inspirational ideas they want us to follow. That is where we're going to be holding. So it holds the spaceman at a 45 degree angle. And down here, four people is enough to hold this spaceman as it's going to be about four foot long. And up here is going to be the champagne bottles inside this backpack. So, it's a nice little project to carry on. Uh, I'll just grid it up on the floor now and let's see how we get on from there. And then I'll create the whole thing in polystyrene and then fiberglass it and artwork it and add the metalwork supports. So, it should be interesting. Getting started on the rudimentary form of the spaceman, Aidan is upscaling the original drawing and gridding this up on polystyrene. He then uses the hot wire table to create the front and side on outlines before going to work with hand tools. It's always nice to be allowed a bit of freedom with projects like these, whereby we can create what we feel is right for the project. The clients are simply trusting us to provide them with something suitable at the end of the day based on their brief and concept images. As this is just going to be a one-off piece of sculpture, the polystyrene master pattern will have a blanket coat of glass fibre and resin over the top, with the surface then worked up to a safe to handle finish. We're going to be using a class O rated resin for fire regulations, as this is going to be used inside, and much like the unicorn, it's going to have sparklers often used coming out of the top. The handheld hot wire tool here is an ideal way to start the carving process, whereby Aiden can take off sizeable chunks before working down to more carving tools. It takes practice and a good grasp of what exactly you're going to be taking off, but the advantage is you can basically work as fast or as slow as you like, taking off smaller or larger pieces along the way. Sometimes working down and refining slowly is useful, as speed should never be a sole drive over accuracy, but we still have a deadline to meet, you know what I mean? So I think a comfortable warp 7.5 is in order right now. Aiden then starts carving using nail and wire brushes, by which, if you're looking to create something like this in a similar fashion at home, you really need an arm strong for this, I mean, a strong arm for this. If it's something you haven't tackled before, I don't think you quite grasp the gravity of the situation here. We would recommend putting music on in the background to create the right kind of working atmosphere, and as long as you cling onto your nail brush properly, you can carve as fast as you like. After carving with nail and wire brushes, stonemason rifflers and sanding down with sandpapers, the secretly sourced sticky back tin foil strikes again. Of course, you're welcome to drop us an email about this foil. Emails at the bottom of the screen. We use this adhesive foil to protect the polystyrene form from the resin going on the top. This saves having to go over with multiple layers of a PVA glue or needing to use a less cost effective epoxy resin. We then go over the form with Class O rated resin and glass fibre mat, and although a blanket coat somewhat softens the detail, the Spaceman is a big spongy Michelin man sort of shape anyway, so there isn't really any fine detail to lose. After going on with a sturdy couple of layers, as we're more than aware this is going to be in a busy club environment and carried around and manhandled quite a bit, we then sand the entire surface down to ensure that we lose any sharp points before coating the entire figure with a flow coat of resin. This flow coat helps lose that fibrous matte texture and provides a good layer to then paint onto. Metal work is being added 
so that not only can handles be created that are securely installed, but so that extension arms are added to raise the spaceman up to the correct height held at the intended angle. These are also being decorated and artwork to give a more space-like feel, and finishing touches like the Cuckoo Club logo are added onto the spaceman's backpack. We like to think that these small details just help complete the sculpture and show that some real thought and TLC has gone into creating him. Naturally, we took our man here for a little test flight or test spacewalk here in the studio, and we think he's about ready to head off to London to, well, I guess his final frontier. We'd like to show some appreciation for the crew behind these ideas at the Cuckoo Club in London, and for coming to us once again with another great concept. It's ideas like these that mean these events happen, these sculptures get commissioned, and by extension, these videos get made. So by all means, let us know if you have any other ideas for the future. We'd also like to... Oh, hello, just dodged a couple of asteroids there. We'd also like to leave a little shout out to the absolute ballers that visit the club who, frankly, when they order their champagne, order it in style. We really hope you enjoy what we've created. We always love hearing what you guys think of our projects and our channel at home, so please feel free to drop a comment below, and by all means subscribe, and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board, and if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.